Hello friends, welcome back to NCGAN. Today in this video, we are going to solve another very very interesting question from algebra. We have x power 18 plus 1 over x power 18 equal to 702 and it is said to find expression x cube plus 1 over x cube. So let's get started by writing required expression equal to e first. In denominator we have x, so x cannot be 0. And we are going to calculate when x belongs to real numbers. So we are going to reject all complex possibilities. So let's get started. I will consider our substitution straight away. x power 6 plus 1 over x power 6. Suppose this is equal to t. Now we will consider cubing both sides. So x power 6 plus 1 over x power 6 whole cube equal to t cube. Now we are going to use a plus b whole cube formula which is equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3 times ab times a plus b. Here a is x power 6 b is 1 over x power 6. Let us apply to our LHS here. We will get x power 6 whole cube plus 1 over x power 6 whole cube plus 3 times x power 6 times 1 over x power 6 times x power 6 plus 1 over x power 6 and RHS is t cube. Now we are going to use one powerful exponential law which says a power b whole power c. This is equal to a power b c which we are applying here. We are going to multiply 6 with 3. So we will write here 18. Here also we will multiply both the exponents. This is t and x power 6 and denominator x power 6 will get over. We will write our equation x power 18 plus 1 over x power 18 plus 3t equal to t cube. Let me write here x power 18 plus 1 over x power 18 plus 3t equal to t cube. And this is known equation as per our problem value is 702. So I can write 702 plus 3t equal to t cube. Take all the terms to RHS. We will get 1 cubic in t, t cube minus 3t minus 702 equal to 0. Now we have to solve this cubic equation for the real value of t. And t is x power 6 plus 1 over x power 6. Let us solve this cubic first. We will write our equation t cube minus 3t. Now we can write minus 702 minus 729 plus 27. Value will be minus 702. RHS is 0. Now we know that 729 is cube of 9. So we can write t cube minus 3t minus 9q plus 27 equal to 0 or we can write t cube minus 9q minus 3t plus 27 equal to 0. Now we are going to use difference of two cubes identity which is a cube minus b cube. As per formula, we can write a minus b in one bracket, in other bracket a square plus b square plus ab. Let us use this identity to our left hand side. We will write. Let me write equation once. So we will write here t minus 9 in one bracket. In other bracket, we have to write t square 
plus 90 plus 9 square is 81. Then from last two terms, we are going to take minus 3 common out. So in the bracket, we need to write T minus 9. RHS is 0. Now T minus 9. T minus 9. We will take T minus 9 common out. So in other bracket, we have to write T square plus 90 plus 81 minus 3 equal to 0. Or I can write T minus 9 times T square plus 90 plus 78. 81 minus 3 is 78 equal to 0. Now we can use product 0 rule. Either T minus 9 will be equal to 0 or T square plus 90 plus 78 equal to 0. So from our first equation, T minus 9 equal to 0. If we will add 9 to both sides, we will get T equal to 9, which is first real value. Now for this quadratic equation, we are going to check the discriminant value. Let me write equation T square plus 9T plus 78 equal to 0. As per discriminant formula, this is equal to b square minus 4ac. As per our quadratic equation, we will write a coefficient of t square value is 1, b coefficient of t value is 9, c constant value is 78. Let's plug in all the values to find out discriminant. So we will write 9 a square minus 4 times 1 times 78. 9 a square is 81. 4 times 78 is 312. This difference will come out minus 231. Once discriminant is negative, we are going to get complex solutions. So we will write here complex solutions which is not required. So we will cancel our quadratic equation. So accepted t would be t equal to 9. Now t was x power 6 plus 1 over x power 6. So I will write here x power 6 plus 1 over x power 6 equal to 9. Now we will use another algebraic formula. Let me write here a square plus b square formula. It is equal to a plus b whole square minus 2 times ab, which we are going to use in our LHS. So I can write our left hand side. This will be x cube plus 1 over x cube whole square. We can check x cube whole square is x power 6. 1 over x cube whole square is 1 over x power 6. Now we have to take away twice times the product of both. So minus 2 times x cube times 1 over x cube will be equal to 9. Now we can cancel x cube from numerator and denominator. So we can write x cube plus 1 over x cube whole square minus 2 equal to 9. Now we will add 2 to both sides plus 2 plus 2. So minus 2 and plus 2 will be over from LHS. We will get x cube plus 1 over x cube whole square equal to 9 plus 2 11. Now our required expression is x cube plus 1 over x cube. So we need to consider a square root both sides. We will get our final answer. So I will write expression E equal to x cube plus 1 over x cube. This would be equal to plus minus square root 11.
i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care bye bye